Uh, well, thank you, President Marion. <clears throat> so we had a fantastic uh, forum on Thursday la last week, and I, this is my report back on behalf of the committee uh, to you all. Uh, so we had a theme of impossible dreams again this year, but we also had a sub-theme of dreamers and disruptors. So we basically thought of the 13 most inspiring dreamers and disruptors that we could think of and asked them to talk about their impossible dream for Wellington. And uh, there are four themes emerged, and I'll, I'll share those with you towards, towards the end. Also, we had people working at tables uh, to share their impossible promises, uh, inspiration into action. You'll see Hewitt Humphrey there. And we had a great group of uh, uh, Rotary volunteers helping us out, uh, like Joan Smith was our, our redoubtable timekeeper. Uh, there were four themes came out of the, out of the workshop. Um, uh, the first one was around uh, Wellington as a playpen for human ingenuity. And uh, just to illustrate that one, one of our speakers was Susan Freeman Green, who's the Chief Executive of Engineering New Zealand. And she talked about Powered by STEAM, the acronym for science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, finding the power of bringing these together. And she is a, a real disruptor of the engineering profession, and I say that in the best possible way. Uh, another dream was around commitment and connection to our city and its people. And to, just to illustrate this one, this uh, is a guy, a young guy, Benjamin Johnson, who's the founder of a social enterprise called The Free Store. The Free Store, would you believe, um, distributes $3.5 million annually of high-quality restaurant food in Wellington, distributing it to people in need across uh, Wellington City. Uh, his quote was, a city where we walk the vulnerable path alongside the vulnerable and marginalised in Wellington. The third dream uh, was uh, commitment and connection to the natural world. And uh, the speaker was uh, Dr. Michelle Dickinson. She's famous as the nano girl, uh, nanotechnologist. And her comment was that one of Rome's most polluted tunnels uh, was painted with a titanium dioxide nanoparticle. Uh, based treatment, and would you believe uh, it saw an 88% uh, reduction in pollution levels over the past decade, and she suggests that this could be a solution for our current pollution problems in Mount Victoria Tunnel. Uh, our fourth dream was around transport, and uh, one of the speakers uh, who spoke on that theme was Georgina Bayer, uh, who is a dreamer and disruptor, and uh, she's uh, the world's first openly transsexual MP and, and, uh, and mayor. And she talked about sustainable and innovative transport routes uh, between Wellington and the Wairarapa. Uh, we had one speaker, uh, Michelle, uh, sorry, um, uh, Melissa Clark Reynolds, uh, who's a futurist and uh, professional director. And she was the only speaker who also spoke last year. And we brought her back because uh, last year she came along with this dream about uh, Wellington being a child-friendly city. She's a technology guru. We thought she'd talk about techy, geeky things, but instead she talked about uh, Wellington being a, being a safe place where kids can go to the dairy and back uh, and get an ice cream, and we keep our wild spaces where kids can have fun. And we brought her back to talk about what we've done since last year to implement her impossible dream. And uh, we, in uh, September we're having a what we call a Tawa City Builder Lab uh, on the 18th to the 20th of September in Tawa. We'll have 850 school students from the students across the city come to one venue, Tower Intermediate School, and they'll have an hour playing on a state-of-the-art computer uh, using Microsoft Minecraft to reimagine the town centre of Tawa and the connections to the railway line, the children's play areas, the, uh, the art and, and uh, all that. So uh, all those brilliant ideas from young people aged 6 to 17 will then be fed into the Wellington City Council's future planning and capital uh, programs uh, for Wellington. So this is a way of kids designing our cities of the future for us. Uh, final keynote speaker was uh, uh, Grant Robertson. Uh, Helen Alger did the uh, summary for me of the themes of the uh, workshop, which came up with those four themes I've just gone through. Uh, Grant picked up on those themes and said, well, actually, what you've chosen are the four uh, well-beings or, or the four capitals within the government's well-being budget that it's going to produce in uh, next year. And uh, we've, we've, one of the reasons why I invited Grant, because he is a dreamer and disruptor, this is the, the world's first well-being budget of any country in the world, and he talked about how 
what um, Helen had come up with aligns exactly with the four capitals within the Treasury framework. A nation that will have the world's first wellbeing bu based budget in 2019 based on the four capitals of human, social, natural, environmental, physical and financial. And those uh, align to the four themes of the Rotary Forum. He also talked about his, uh, his vision as the city that is the opposite of loneliness. Uh, we had some great media coverage. Um, we had a Dom Post feature article uh, the previous Saturday. Uh, that was the article uh, showing Michelle uh, Dickinson that came out the next day. Uh, and a lot of social media coverage. So some feedback from the event. Um, uh, these are some of the comments we got. Fantastic event. Uh, really enjoyed the speakers and the diversity of, the, of them. Uh, had a, a great thought-provoking day. Plan to keep coming in coming years. Especially appreciated the, the diversity and love to see more young people uh, at future forums. So we look forward to seeing you at next year's 2019 forum. Thank you.